Good evening. We're glad that you could join us today for evening prayer on this Tuesday, June 15th. Today we remember Evelyn Underhill, mystic and writer, who died on this date in 1941. Our opening sentence is from Psalm 74. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Our first reading is from 2 Kings chapter 22, beginning in the 14th verse. So the priest Hilkiah, Ahakam, Ajpur, Shaphan, and Aziah went to the prophetess Huldah, the wife of Shalom, son of Tikva, son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. She resided in Jerusalem in the second quarter, where they consulted her. She declared to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Tell the man who sent you to me, thus says the Lord, I will indeed bring disaster on this place and on its inhabitants, all the words of the book that the king of Judah has read, because they have abandoned me, and have made offerings to other gods, so that they have provoked me to anger with all the work of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be kindled against this place, and it will not be quenched. But as to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall you say to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, regarding the words that you have heard, Because your heart was penitent, and you humbled yourself before the Lord, when you heard how I spoke against this place and against its inhabitants, that they should become a desolation and a curse. And because you have torn your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you, says the Lord. Therefore, I will gather you to your ancestors, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace. Your eyes shall not see all the disaster that I shall bring on this place. They took the message back to the king. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The appointed psalm for the day is a portion of Psalm 96. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the divine name. Bring offerings and come into the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before God. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord reigns. The Lord who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord who is coming, who is coming to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with truth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The woman said to Jesus, Sir, I see that you are a prophet, our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship him. 
God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we remember Evelyn Underhill, the only child of a prominent barrister and his wife. Evelyn Underhill was born in Wolverhampton, England on December 6, 1875, and grew up in London. She was educated there and in a girls' school in Folkestone, where she was confirmed in the Church of England. She had little other formal religious training, but her spiritual curiosity was naturally lively, and she read widely, developing quite early a deep appreciation for mysticism. At 16, she began a lifelong devotion to writing. Evelyn had few childhood companions, but one of them, Hubert Stuart Moore, she eventually married. Other friends made later included such famous persons as Lawrence Hausman, Maurice Hewlett, and Sarah Bernhardt. Closest of all were Ethel Ross Barker, a devout Roman Catholic, and Baron Friedrich von Hugel, with whom she formed a strong spiritual bond. He became her director in matters mystical. In the 1890s, Evelyn began annual visits to the continent of Europe, and especially to Italy. There she became influenced by the paintings of the Italian masters and by the Roman Catholic Church. She spent nearly 15 years wrestling painfully with the idea of converting to Roman Catholicism, but decided in the end that it was not for her. In 1921, Evelyn Underhill became reconciled to her Anglican roots while remaining what she called a Catholic Christian. She continued with her life of reading, writing, meditation, and prayer. She had already published her first great book, Mysticism. This was followed by many other books, culminating in her most widely read and studied book, Worship, in 1937. Evelyn Underhill's most valuable contribution to spiritual literature must surely be her conviction that the mystical life is not only open to a saintly few, but to anyone who cares to nurture it and weave it into everyday experience and also, at the time, a startling idea that modern psychological theories and discoveries, far from hindering or negating spirituality, can actually enhance and transform it. Evelyn Underhill's writings proved appealing to many, resulting in a large international circle of friends and disciples, making her much in demand as a lecturer and retreat director. She died at age 65 in London on June 15, 1941. Let us now together affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven. heaven. He, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to assume whichever posture you find most prayerful for the prayers of the people. God of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ, you promise to hear us when we pray to you, in faith with thanksgiving. We pray for one another, for our families and friends, through whom we learn to love and to be loved. Thank you for all who care for us. Give us grace to serve Christ by serving our neighbors and our community, loving others as he loves us. God of grace, hear our prayer. We thank you for the unfailing love you hold out to everyone in Jesus Christ. Comfort and heal those in sorrow, need, sickness, or any other trouble. Give them courage and hope in their distress and bless those who minister to them. God of grace, hear our prayer. We remember with gratitude your many gifts to us in creation and the rich heritage of this land. Help us and people everywhere to share with justice and peace the resources of the earth. Give wisdom to those in authority among us and to all leaders of the nations.
God of grace, hear our prayer. We pray for your church throughout the world, thanking you for all who serve Christ and his kingdom. By your spirit, strengthen your people for their work and witness in the world. Unite us in your truth and love, that we who confess your name may also reflect your glory. God of grace, hear our prayer. We remember with thanksgiving all who have died in Christ, and we rejoice at the faithful witness of your saints in every age, praying that we may enter with them into the unending joy of your heavenly kingdom. God of grace, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you look with compassion on all who turn to you, Hear the prayers of your people. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the collect of the day. O God, origin, sustainer, and end of all creatures, grant that your church, taught by your servant Evelyn Underhill, guarded evermore by your power, and guided by your spirit into the light of truth, may continually offer to you all glory and thanksgiving and attain with your saints to the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have promised us by our Savior, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We're so glad that you could join us. Have a good night.